Rick Renner chilling at the Miniola DQ, getting excited about a very emotional game with Canton High, hanging out with the Yellow Jackets, who are actually in orange. We are making blizzards. Debbie, what do we got today? The double fudge chocolate chip cookie dough with Dairy Queen soft serve chocolate chip cookie dough and cocoa fudge. Mm-mm, Becca, show them what they've won. Gary Joe Kinney, the football coach at Canton High School, remains in critical but stable condition tonight. Kinney was shot in the stomach, family members tell us, and the bullet remains lodged in his liver. The alleged gunman, Jeffrey Robertson, is being held on $1 million bond, charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Reportedly, Robertson's son, Barron, had recently been banned from all school athletics and his father barred from the school. Just in the last couple of weeks, uh, I started feeling a lot better. You know, two weeks ago, I was, you know, flat on my back. You know, the only thing I was doing was flipping the remote control. And, and uh, about two weeks ago, I started feeling a little bit better. And, and, you know, I always thought I'd be out there the first day, but I was beginning to doubt it. And uh, I started just in the last few weeks to start feeling a lot better. Four and a half months after their head football coach was nearly killed, the dawn of a new football season gives the city of Canton a chance to move ahead as they rally around Gary Joe Kinney. Why don't you look right over there? And you see that I think it's my third standing ovation in the last week, and it feels really good. You know, I remember you made a vow way back when the bad stuff happened that you would be back for this day. Was there any question in your mind you would not be back for the season opener? I knew I'd be back. You know, there, there's always doubt when you're laying, laying on your back and you have your bad days, but I knew somehow, some way I'd be out here. Emotionally, what's this like for you? Mm, right now, it, it just kind of feels uh, like your uh, wedding night a little bit. You kind of got jitters a little bit, not knowing what to expect, but it feels good. This is a big day. There were times in the hospital that we didn't know if we'd see tomorrow, much less him coach another football game. So it's very emotional for us. We're very, very lucky. It's brought our family, as you can see, we've got, we had to save, I had to get here at six o'clock to save the seats. And it's brought our family closer together, both spiritually and physically and, and emotionally. I mean, if it was 10 degrees hotter, I wouldn't care. It, <laughs> it's football in Texas, and I love it. And I love having getting to see my grandson, and I'm just glad that my son is getting to see him play uh, because we didn't know if he'd ever get to see him play or not. We started crying because it was just hard because we didn't have our mom and dad with us all the time, so it was hard. It's a special night for you guys. It's a, it's a special night for me to be here with you guys. Because I'm going to tell you, it hadn't been that long ago. It hadn't been that long ago I was laying on my back. And I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I never do. I'm laying in there, and, and I said, Lord, if I can coach one more football game, I want to coach that football team one more time. Let me be out there. We're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised next week. But you know what? We got tonight. I'm here, you're here, and we're going to win tonight. Let's go. It was like first Monday trade days in Canton as they traded scores early. Mineola strikes first. Roderick Everett to J.P. Bigham, and he's big on talent. Just ask Texas OU and West Virginia. They're all looking at him. 7-0, Yellow Jackets. On suing kickoff, Barlow Reed says, read this. He slices, he dices, he takes it all the way down to the Canton 20. That would set the table for the coach's son, G.J. Kinney, the keeper, which cut the lead to 7-6. to six. Then it turned into a defensive struggle. Mineola quarterback turned DB. Hot Rod Everett says no to Canton on the goal line stand. After a fumble, Canton gets it in this time. Barlow Reed, extra, extra, reads all about it. 22, we're trading. 
22, hey. Then Canton would recover another fumble on the kickoff. And with seconds to go before halftime, TJ hooks up with Josh Wilson. Looks like a TD. Zebras say no. 12-7, Canton at the half. Everything they've got so far has been because of us, not them. Take care of the football. Get things sealed on the edge of the line of scrimmage. Take good pursuit angles. Put him on the ground. And if he's still up on the second and third guy gets there, then we rat-a-tat him. Otherwise, we wrap him up, get him on the ground. Hell, it's time to go to work. This is what we talk about. Second half football is many other football. Great speech and an even greater pregame meal at DQ couldn't help Mineola in the second half. It was all Canton and the Barlow Go Show, and he wasn't going low. Over 100 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Canton rolls 32 to 14. Good job. The win was great, but that was second to just having my dad out here and just playing playing good is it only goes so far in life, and just having your dad out there is it, it means all to me. You know, it meant a lot. You know, I, you're not guaranteed tomorrow, and uh, you only get tonight. And uh, so it was special. It really was. Uh, Rick Renner for the DQ Big Game of the Week.